In today's session, we learn about isolation of DNA from bacteriophage. There is a main difference between extraction of phage DNA from that of total DNA or plasma DNA because the main material for extraction is not phage itself. Bacteriophage is an obligative parasite and its growth is only seen when it is infecting the host. Considering this fact, the bacteriophage is allowed to infect the bacterium and allowed to multiply after reaching a certain amount in the extracellular medium that is achieved by lysis of the cells. This is subjected to centrifugation and a deproteinization step is carried out on this to obtain purified DNA of bacteriophage. Obtaining high amounts of culture. Here we know that lambda phage is known to exhibit two modes of cycle that is lysogeny and the lytic cycle. Here we do not require lysogenic mode of cycle. To induce lytic cycle, thus increasing the yield of lambda phage titer. A temperature sensitive growth condition is designed. Here, the C1 repressor, this is the protein responsible for bacteriophages to enter into the lysogenic mode of life cycle. If a mutation is carried out in this gene, wherein it renders it active in lower temperatures and degrades it in higher temperatures. That is, when the bacteria is grown at 30 degree, the C1 repressor works fine. If it is transferred to 40 degree, the C1 repressor is degraded. This calls for the phage to enter into lytic cycle and abort lysogeny. Preparation of non-lysogenic phages. Non-lysogenic phages are mostly used in genetic engineering experiments as they only con as they only propagate through lytic mode of cycle and due to deletions of C1 depressor in lambda phage does not exhibit lysogeny in labs and it only has lytic cycle and the main key lies in addition of phage particles into bacteria for infecting although this may sound easier to conduct the experiment there is a key and a expertise required for the addition of phage particles at exact time if the cell density is low and the addition of phage is done when the cells are infected it causes lysis of the bacterial cells immediately thus the phage titer obtained is very low on the other hand if the cell density is very high, lysis does not occur because the bacterium is accustomed to the medium. And the medium is very stable for it to not undergo lysis. So the addition of phage particles is the key to achieve this experiment and it is carried out in a balanced inoculum. Thus attributing to timely release of phage particles by lysis. Collection of phage from an infected cycle. Due to the smaller size, phage particles can be precipitated only by high-speed centrifugation. Therefore, a use of chemical called polyethylene glycol, glycol is employed in active precipitation. This compound is a long-chain polymeric molecule which in the presence of salt absorbs water. As we have known, phage particles are known to be present in the aqueous layer. So, when this absorbs water, it is known to actively absorb the phage particles. Then this is precipitated by centrifugation and the pellet is collected. Then the pellet is discarded and the pellet is collected by discarding the supernatant. This is resuspended in a vial. The resuspended wire from the previous polyethylene glycol precipitation 
is directly subjected to reproteinization step sometimes but most of the times it there is an additional step called density gradient centrifugation which is performed even in case of total DNA extraction and plasma DNA extraction the principle here lies the same this is mostly performed to remove the bacterial debris here when the density gradient centrifugation is performed the band is obtained processed by cesium chloride which contains the viral DNA a dialysis is performed to remove the cesium chloride the DNA obtained is subjected to addition of protease or phenol to digest the protein coat this gives the pure form of viral DNA which can be employed in further experiments purification of m13 phage m13 phage is another phage known to infect bacterium and of great importance in genetic engineering because of its double standard replicative form which resembles plasmid and is employed in genetic in experiments frequently this is a non lysogenic phage and it does not cause lysis of bacterial cells which is another key factor the extraction is performed as in case of lambda phage and m13 phage is similar whereas it involves the culture of infected cells centrifugation to remove the bacterial cells leaving the m13 phage in the suspension later subjecting it to addition of polyethylene glycol wherein the pellet is precipitated which is again separated so it is subjected to gradient centrifugation thus obtaining the pure dna along with the protein where the protein forms a separate band and the dna forms a separate band DNA obtained is further added with phenol or protease to remove the protein coat, thus obtaining purest form of M13 DNA in the final step, which is used for further experiments. Thank you. If you find this video informative, please do like, share and subscribe. If you need more details regarding this aspect, please check the link below.